Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod video and today we're checking out a brand new weapon mod known as the Vanguard Double Barrel by Cadaver. This is going to add a brand new double barrel shotgun into the game and I gotta say this one is quite classy. We do already have a double barrel shotgun in the vanilla game and there are a handful of double barrel mods out there already but I really really like this one. I think it fits the Fallout aesthetic very well and it has some really cool attachments that are also very Fallout to me. On top of that, there are a handful of ammo types, which I really, really love in a shotgun mod, especially something like a double barrel, which is so simple, it's nice to add a little bit of flair to the weapon. Now, this weapon on its own is just a nice little standalone weapon, however, there are some pretty cool patches you can download as well, including one that will add this thing to the leveled lists. So if you download that one, this thing will start spawning on Minutemen, Raiders, and Vendors after level 10. Otherwise, without the patch, it will just be craftable over at the chemistry station. Speaking of patches, this thing also has support for the see-through scopes framework, so if you are a fan of see-through scopes, you can get some of those for this weapon as well. Additionally, while there is no required animation for this mod, it is highly recommended that you pair this with the Battlefield 1 double barrel replacer, and I have to say I highly agree with that. Those animations play very nice with this shotgun and definitely look a lot better than the vanilla animations, so if you do grab this weapon, I'd highly recommend picking up that animation set as well. Now, another thing that's pretty cool with this mod is you can download it as a replacer. So rather than downloading the leveled list patch, you can instead get the replacer version, which will actually replace the vanilla double barrel with this one. So that's pretty nice. But just keep in mind, this weapon does have a slightly higher damage than the vanilla shotgun. So the Raiders are going to be a bit tougher in the early game, but not too much. I think that covers most of the basics. Let's go ahead and take this thing in game and check out all of its nice little details, starting with its stats. So here we have the muzzled VG double barrel in its base configuration after you craft it. This is the name and look you're going to get as soon as you make one of these. This thing's going to have a base damage of 63. It uses a shotgun shells, of course, has a fire rate of 36, a range of 22, an accuracy of 3, a weight of 8.2 pounds, and a value of 39 caps. Now that accuracy has everything to do with the fact that we are using a sawn-off barrel here, and that's something that can easily be tweaked over at the weapons workbench. Now really quick, let's talk animations. While you can use this thing with vanilla animations, it is highly recommended that you use those Battlefield 1 replacers, and I want to go ahead and show those off now so you can see how awesome this weapon looks and sounds with that replacement. So, we'll go ahead and let that play for you now. As you can see, it fits very, very nice, but there is one more thing I want to talk about. There's a handful of firing modes that you can choose with this weapon, by which I mean the different ammo swaps you can use, including Dragon's Breath, and there's something that I really appreciate about this mod. The spread on the Dragon's Breath is absolutely massive. I'll go ahead and show that really quick. As you can see, the first shot was all over the place up in the sky, and the second shot kind of hit down low in the waters. It goes absolutely everywhere. But this is the first shotgun mod I've used where that spread is actually advantageous. Typically, that just spreads your bullets around and they don't do anything, but it actually seems to do a lot in this mod. I can't seem to explain quite why, but when I go up against a horde of ghouls and I use this, it actually works. It kills a handful of ghouls with one single shot. So I gotta say, whatever they did behind the scenes, it just works. Now then, let's talk attachments over at the weapons workbench. We do have a good bit going on here. Some really cool lore-friendly looking attachments and some nice configurations that I do quite enjoy. Let's grab the base version of the weapon and start in the receiver section where we have standard up through advanced, to be expected with any weapon mod. Standard giving you that base damage of 63 and advanced bringing you up to 104, though that damage can be taken further with other attachments and of course perks. Before the stock section, we have the standard removed stock for your little sawn-off option. We have the factory stock, the Wilkie Marksman, the SA-12, and the SA Weighted, which will add a nice little weight to the end to help stabilize it. And then for sights, we surprisingly have a good bit of options with the standard iron sights, the Mark III Reflector, the Night R-47, the Monocular Reflector, the Hybrid Flip Night R, the Mark III Mod II, the Slate Custom, the G16 2.5 with a see-through scopes version, and the M19 4x with a see-through scopes version. 
For the muzzles, we have the SUHL muzzle brake, the smooth bore option, the full choke, and a G28 compensator, which does look pretty nice. I wish this would give some increased bash damage as it does have the spiky end and that's how vanilla attachments work, but it works just fine as it is. For the barrels, we have some interesting options with the sawed off barrel, the LJ18 Defender, the factory barrel, which is absolutely massive, the Wilkie Precision, and the Wilkie Hutzman, which is so big it goes off the screen even with the sawn off stock. This thing is huge. And then we have the ammo type section. We have Buckshot, Heavy Slugs, Dragon's Breath, and the 12 gauge frag rounds. Now while we're here, the heavy slug is going to perform exactly as you'd expect. It's one giant round. The dragon's breath is going to increase the spread greatly, reduce the range, but add some nice bit of damage. And even though the stats show some pretty low accuracy and range, I gotta say in testing, this did work. It works really, really effectively. So definitely try it out. Now, the last thing is the frag rounds. I would expect that this would just be your standard buckshot with explosive rounds, and even the description would sort of give you that idea, but I think there is a small bug. There is only one projectile when I use these. It fires one single explosive round, almost like an explosive slug, which is fine in terms of gameplay, but I have a feeling that's not what the author wanted to do, so that may be fixed soon with a patch. Now then, we also have the option to add on a damage modifier, which I do not think is necessary for this mod whatsoever, but if you think that your load order needs it, there is some damage modifiers from negative 60 up to positive 60%. Now, one more thing before we get into the damage test, there's just one little teensy thing I want to let you guys know before you download this mod, and it's not necessarily a bug, but probably a compromise the author had to make. This weapon is huge, and it may not seem like it with the Sonoff version here, but when we throw on anything with a stock, you'll notice that this thing is pretty dang massive. I mean, just look at that thing. And if you're still not convinced, we'll go ahead and throw that onto our character here. And you'll see that the stock doesn't just go against the shoulder like it should. It goes all the way underneath here. <laughs> and that's just not quite exactly what it should be. I think the scale is a bit off, but they probably had to do that to make the models align with the animation. So it's just something to be aware of, though I do think it looks absolutely fine in first person. So if you're not a third person player, this probably doesn't matter to you at all. All right, and now then it is, of course, time for our damage test. And today we're running quite a few tests. I want to test out the standard version of the weapon, of course, with no attachments and no perks, just to see how this thing does out of the box in terms of balance. And then I want to test it out fully upgraded with all the different ammo types, Dragon's Breath, Slugs, and Explosive Rounds, just to see how they perform compared to each other and which one is the best option for you. Considering this thing is only semi-automatic, one of these is definitely going to be better than the rest, so I'm curious which it is. Now then, starting with the standard version of the weapon, aiming for the Death Claw's weak point, let's see how it does. And to be expected with no attachments or upgrades, this thing is pretty rough. Six shots in, the Death Claw is about halfway down. That's eight. And the Death Claw dies in exactly ten. And to be fair, ten shots isn't too bad for taking down a Death Claw, but when you're using a double barrel, you'd probably want to switch to something with a bigger magazine capacity. Now then, let's try it out fully upgraded, and I believe this one has the Dragon's Breath rounds. Now, like I said... Those Dragon's Breath rounds are pretty incredible, and they took down that Deathclaw in one shot. Mathematically speaking, it should have been five. It has a, an advanced receiver, which just doubles that damage, and then maybe a little bit more from the added incendiary damage. It shouldn't be nearly that much, but my guess is that what happened behind the scenes is that all of that damage is applied to each individual pellet. So, I don't know. That's just my guess, but who knows? I could be wrong. Now then, let's try out the slugs and see if they perform any different. Aiming for the Death Claw's weak point. Now, it's a bit odd that the slugs are worse than the incendiary rounds, but hey, if you're a fan of Dragon's Breath, then I'm sure that's a good thing for you. Now, this one, performing much more like I expected, takes down the Death Claw in about six shots, almost five, but it just had a hair of health left. This is pretty balanced. I like this one a lot, though the incendiary rounds seem to be very, very powerful. Lastly, we need to check out the explosive rounds and see if they differ at all. Now, these are the ones, like I said earlier in the video, should be a spread, but for some reason it's a single projectile, but I'm curious how it performs on the Death Claw nonetheless. Interesting enough, 
That definitely should have been four shots for the Death Claw, but it seems that the last one missed during the hip fire. Another thing that I have noticed is, like I said, this should be a buckshot spread, but it is a single round, yet I think it has the spread of buckshot, and by that I mean the accuracy in the hip fire. You'll notice it is not anywhere near the center. When you hip fire this thing, even though you're getting a single projectile, don't let those two speak for it, it's kind of all over the place. So that's pretty interesting. I'm sure that'll be fixed again in some time with a patch. I think that is supposed to be like a buckshot explosive round, but only time will tell. All right, I think that covers just about every single thing with this mod. Teensy little issues here and there. Again, the scale is off and there is a little bit of a bug with the projectile, but beyond that, the weapon is absolutely amazing. It looks absolutely fantastic and it has some really cool attachments and I think it's a much better option than the vanilla double barrel. I think after a couple of patches, this will become a staple in just about everybody's load order as I think it's possibly one of the best double barrel shotguns we have on the Nexus right now. So with that, Go ahead and try this mod out. It'll be linked down in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating. And if you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing to get more as I upload very, very often. Big shout out to all of my patrons for supporting every single video. And of course, a very special thank you to Captain Chaos, Helljumper, Indecisive, Wolf, Jackie, Noid, Timmy76, Cushy, Moonlit Gamer, Feed, and Youth RC for joining that tier 3 Patreon membership. If you want to support the channel on Patreon, it'll be linked down in the description below, but it is completely optional. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace!